Man, and it's Friday. That means some good food is being made in our studio kitchen. This morning, our general manager, Mark Bunting, along with the rundown host, Tarlisha, and a very special guest are in the kitchen. Let's check in with them now. Hey, guys, how's it going? Who you got in there with you? All right, good morning. Um, I have my brother is Ooh. here, Paul Bunting. Um, I, I had a little issue with my arm, and I needed some help today. <laughs> so my brother drove Sorry, up from Mobile, was nice enough to uh, help me with the two recipes that we have today. And the first one is called Susu Chicken. It was something that my brother and I used to eat. We grew up in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, and it was at a restaurant. We absolutely love this curry chicken dish. In addition, we'll also be doing what most people would call as an empanada, but we call it pâtés, and it's a fried meat pie, and it's Ooh. absolutely delicious. And so today, Paul is going to help you um, get everything ready for Susu Chicken. So Sally and Jasmine, basically what he said is, I hit the jackpot. I'm in the kitchen with two buntings, it's about to be a turn up. Okay, so what I got to do, Paul? All right, well, actually, we've already started with a half a stick of butter in there and five onions okay. and some garlic. And we cooked that for about 10 minutes. So now what you're gonna need to do is add some of the ingredients. Okay. You're gonna start with the ground cumin, mm -hmm. an eighth of a teaspoon, two teaspoons of powdered ginger, Oh, my first time cooking with ginger. And I know you like spice, so a little bit of cayenne in there. That was a little sarcasm, piece. <laughs> <laughs> not spice <laughs> at all. Two teaspoons of salt. Okay, maybe balance out the spicy a little bit. The key to this entire recipe is the two tablespoons of curry powder. That okay. is what we've been smelling for the last hour or two. Oh, and it, it is delicious. smelling very I good. Mean, then you're going to want to put in the two onions, uh, two tomatoes that have been all chopped. So do I stir while I'm adding? You keep stirring. I know. See, I guess he just like his brother because they <laughs> love to get me working in this kitchen. Make sure you're getting a workout. Exactly. I tell you. And so now what we're going to want to do is put in the flour. And when okay. you're putting in that flour, you're going to want to stir. Okay, hold on, let me get my arm together. Exactly. Still a little injured from the last cooking. Because what you want to end up doing is you want to incorporate all of that and you also want to be able to cook it down so it doesn't have that flour taste to it. Okay. And so that looks good. We're Ooh. It'll also serve as a thickening agent Correct. Um, in the sauce that is uh, going to be accompanying the other ingredients once we get there. So in order to make a sauce, the next ingredients would be the three cups of whole milk. All oh. of it, just pour it in. Okay. I'm Don't gonna... use skim milk, use whole milk. Definitely. Is there a reason? And now you know why I look the way I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love whole milk. All right, keep stirring. Okay. Keep stirring. Well, oh, oh, oh. Your job's not done yet. I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, and the next ingredient that you're going to want to put in is, this is a quarter of a cup of Coco Thank Lopez. You. What is that? So Coco Lopez is creamed coconut, and it's very sweet, and that's what, that's definitely going to take uh, the cayenne out, really. Um, they kind of offset each other. Okay. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful tropical coconut flavor. Yeah, you can taste that. See? Ooh. Uh, uh, also, it is, <laughs> I mean. if, if you make a pina colada, that mm. is the main ingredient. If you make you know, it, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. And the last ingredient you'll want to put is a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. Okay, so when all of this is done, um, oh, we, we still have um, the chicken. Well, in order to have a curry chicken, we need to actually add I the mean, chicken. I mean, that's in. like the. <clears throat> well, actually, it's the it's the sideshow to the wonderful curry. I mean, but this just got me. What is it? Say it again. Coco Lopez. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna add the chicken. Add the chicken in. All at it's, once. All at once. It's been pre-cooked. Um, we grilled this. Um, I did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she was nowhere near on the prep last night. No, no. Uh, and you want to cut it into like one-inch cubes. And then keep stirring. And, uh, exactly. Keep stirring, and we're gonna. Yeah. This will cook down for uh, a little while, probably about 10 to 15 minutes, and uh, so. and then it'll be good to go. And then what we do is okay. we carve out a pineapple bowl um, from a, we cut a pineapple in half, take out the ingredients, because you'll use that with the dish later on, and fill it with seasoned rice, mm -hmm. and then put this on top. And what's really cool, if you can see, we have a, a couple of items there. It's mandarin oranges, 
pineapple, raisins, peanuts, and coconut. Mm -hmm. And as you're going with each bite, try a different oh, one of those a ingredients, variety. and it gives a whole different flavor aspect as you're going through. So it's it's more than one just one meal. It's like several several different meals. Well, you got me there, Sally and Jasmine. <laughs> Listen, it looks like I'm gonna still be stirring probably by the time you come back because they like to work me over here. Hey, what's better than one bunting but two? I'm <laughs> yeah. I hit the jackpot, I tell you. It depends on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> we know you can both cook, so when you're in the kitchen, it's a good thing. That tropical dish just makes me, we were talking, makes you want to go to the beach, have a mm -hmm. nice drink, eat some you chicken. It. Yeah, keep stirring though, Tarleesha, because we're going to try it a little later. <laughs> Wait to eat it. Thanks, guys. Still to come this morning.